the Nantes Island Bridge is at the end of its lifespan, so we needed to uh, to think about solutions, either make a major rehabilitation on this bridge or construct a new temporary structure. And when we did the analysis, the costs were pretty similar. If we were doing a major rehabilitation on the bridge, it would need a lot of lane closure and would have a major impact on the traffic versus building a new structure which is on the side have little impact except a few weekends. Uh, we decided to go uh, to use a different path than the existing bridge. The reason is uh, going perpendicular to the river arm makes the bridge uh, much shorter so it's really a cost saving and uh, we were a little bit further from the existing bridge so allowed uh, the, an easier construction also. By building a new bridge, we decided to add an additional feature. One of the first feature was adding a dedicated bus lane. By having this dedicated bus lane, uh, we're able to remove a traffic light, which creates a lot of congestion on traffic on the, the existing highway. The other aspect is we have a bike path right now, but we uh, took advantage to increase the width, which allows the passage of pedestrian and bike at the same time. First of all, we have to say that the project is, is going on target. Uh, the engineering started in the fall 2012. A year later, we started the construction. And now we're uh, in uh, near that fall 2014. What we've built is we've built the, the main bridge with its piers, the deck. We built also the overpass, all the backfill and the roadway that's going on the old uh, landfill. And in a couple of weeks, we're going to do the connection with the existing highway. So first of all, we're going to do uh, the connection on the northbound. After that, another weekend, we're going to do the southbound. And after that, we need to do the final connection for the dedicated busway. We really have a short span to do it, so we're using weekends to impact as little as we can on the, on the traffic but there's a lot of work to do these connections, so there's a really tight schedule that we need to plan to make sure that we're able to open at five o'clock in the Monday morning.